What's up everybody, Adam from Unboxer here, back with another video. Now, hopefully you guys follow me on Instagram or Twitter. If not, I highly recommend you do because I post some interesting stuff. If you do though, you'll have seen a few weeks ago that I posted a picture of my new desktop speakers. Now, this was all for my new office setup um, and they were gonna be pride of place on my new desk. Unfortunately, the furniture makers are in delay with my desk so I have not been able to get them seated where I wanted them yet. However, I have been breaking them in. Now, as everybody knows with high-end audio speakers, you need a good few hours play through them to get them all warmed up, to get them all massaged in and get them playing sound the way it's meant to be heard. And I've reached that point now with these bad boys. So without further ado, this is my review of the Kef X300A wireless speakers. Enjoy. In the box you get the two speakers and two power cords. So you might ask why two? Well, Kef have given each speaker their own dual class AB amplifiers. So each needs its own power. You also get a LAN cable for wired network connection. Two USB mini to USB type A cables. And a pair of foam bungs used to either fully or partially block the rear port. This is for when you need to tune the bass response when the speakers are placed near a wall. Moving to features and design, feature wise they come with DNLA and AirPlay support for network streaming. It's handled by either a wireless BG connection or 100 megabit ethernet. And I've got to say these things look great. They're finished in satin white and got that famous Kef Unique or UniQ driver design where the tweeter sits in the middle of the drive unit. Now what this does is it allows you to get the same quality of sound no matter where you sit in front of them. You can be right in between them or off to one side but it always sounds the same. This is because all the sound comes from a single source point. Keep in mind that this is the same speaker technology found in their legendary LS50 and their Blade reference speaker, both of which are high-end hi-fi. I love how this looks and Kef clearly does too as there's no speaker grills to be found. Like it or hate it, it's on display. With each speaker having two high quality amplifiers, one for the highs and one for the lows and mids, these things go super loud and don't suffer from any distortion. In terms of input outputs, you've got a power switch and a power socket, a handy switch to switch from desk mode to stand mode, the USB in from your computer, USB out to the other speaker, auxiliary in and a system gain. Okay guys, a few final thoughts on these things then. So, elephant in the room is the price. They come in at $1,000, 800 UK, um, which is an awful lot of money to spend on a pair of speakers, especially those that are just gonna be connected to your computer. However, going some way to justify that cost, they handle high resolution audio, they use the same components that Kef use in their ultra high-end speakers um, and each speaker has its own individual set of amplifiers inside so you get two in each cabinet one for the lows and mids and one for the highs and what that allows you to do is take the volume up as loud as they can go and you get zero distortion on the output it sounds perfect whatever the volume and these things can chuck out enough volume to easily fill a medium to large size room so there's no need to worry there. The design is excellent. Like I said, Kef don't supply speaker grills on any of their speakers in this uh, that use this UniQ array because they, uh, they look awesome. So this should not be covered up. It should be on display. If you've got kids, I would say get them to stay away from it because I imagine it's quite expensive to repair these drivers. Um, so they look awesome. They sound awesome. Build quality is outstanding and I would highly recommend them to any audiophile person. However, if you're not really into your high resolution files, I would say get a slightly lower price point speaker and save the money. The other thing that I was a bit disappointed with was the Wi-Fi setup on these things. It was clunky. It took me around an hour to get it set up on my network. I have to say once it was there, it didn't drop the connection. It stayed pretty constant. But it's just something that I think is feedback for Kef. I know they're not software designers, but uh, it's something that they should improve on in the future. Overall though, 
fantastic set of speakers. I cannot wait to get them on my desk, my new desk, and when that arrives, I'll show it to you in all its glory. Um, but stay tuned, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Let me know down in the comments what you thought. And I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. What do you trust more to securely hold your device in place? Springs or magnets?